um, for kids of South Florida. And also, we want to thank everyone for bringing pajamas. And the reason why you brought the pajamas is very important for us. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm Hi. Hannah Harrison. I am with Four Kids of South Florida. Four Kids is a nonprofit foster care agency. Uh, we're local here in South Florida. We have locations in Broward, Palm Beach, and the Treasure Coast County. And thank you guys so much for bringing the pajamas tonight. The pajamas are actually going to go to our Safe Place program. And Safe Place is our emergency intake center for kids who are transitioning into the foster care system. So instead of having to sit in the back of a police car or sit in a cold office cubicle in a social work office, they come to Safe Place. And Safe Place is designed to be like a home. There's a living room, a kitchen, bedrooms, bathrooms, everything to make the child feel comfortable in a very traumatic situation in their lives. So these pajamas are gonna go to them. Everything that you guys brought today is gonna go to these children who are in transition and may not, they just, they don't know where they're gonna be tomorrow even. So thank you guys so much for caring for them and doing this with us. We really couldn't do it without you. Can you, you tell it's everybody a little bit about yourself though, about what Paul Kids has done for you? Yeah. yeah, so this is so dear and dear to my heart because when I was 13 years old, I was actually placed in foster care and I was one of those children who didn't know where they would be the next day. So thank you guys so much in that regard because this is very personal to me. It could have been me still in that shelter. You guys never know who you're talking to. And so just thank you so much for that. Um, and because of four kids, I get to be here today. And I was actually adopted into my forever family when I was 17 years old, which is nothing short of a miracle. So I'm just really grateful I get the opportunity to be here today. Again, thank you guys so much. Thank you. They have questions for her. Do you have questions for her? You guys can come talk to me or Grace, my co worker back there in the red dress. Uh, we can answer any questions you guys have about four kids or getting involved or anything, okay? So while I have everybody's attention, everyone's been asking what the Association for Women in Communication is about. And the one thing that I want everybody to take home is that we have something different every month that we have a chance to give back to. So we not only are able to empower women, but we're also able to give back to an organization. So if anyone has any ideas or anyone that they know that they may need our help, this is the way that we give back, so we appreciate some feedback. And, and then whomever yeah. wants to um, get more information and join the association, you're more than welcome. We have a blast every month. Twice a month. Focus more on career oriented. So if you're interested in learning how on social media, how to use Twitter, how to use LinkedIn to find a job, how to use Facebook uh, to market your business without spending a dime. Um, correctly, healthcare. and then healthcare, healthcare. also, and, and also really we want to empower everyone just the basic learning how to breathe. I mean, believe it or not, that's so important. <laughs> Technology moves Technology. so fast, and we want everybody to be up to speed, and we are in the field, so might as well share with other people. And if you want to learn about virtual reality marketing for your own business, um, please talk to me, and I will give you my card, and I will sign, sign you up, and we'll let you know exactly where it's, where it's going to be at. Yeah. We're planning to have it in Miza Park, so it's not too far from here, and you just bring your laptop, and I'm going to teach you. And we'll have some cameras so we can play with yeah. the goggles and but everything. But the secret is that afterwards we do have drinks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest with you, in 1909, the women who, who founded this organization were all um, college students, and they wanted to get together to drink it because women couldn't drive or drink or vote or do anything yeah. in 1909. <laughs> so they form a club, a women communication, they published their first newspaper, and that's how we were started. So Eleanor Roosevelt is one of us, even Barbara Walker is one of us. We honor Ann Carey um, in 2009. I was very privileged to be there um, to honor her. So again, you know, there's tons of women through the out history as part of women communication. And at one time, most of our board was in Miami and I happened to live in Boca Raton. And I figured, you know what? And we started last year having our events here because Roberto and I, I've known Roberto, who is the general manager forever. Like, he's a good friend of mine. And he offered his space, and then I met Cook over there, who is our communication director. And so with that in mind, and actually we have Scott Eddie over here, we want to go ahead and put a shout out. He was, he was our first event here, actually, last year at this time. And he's looking over here. Oh, yeah. And his world renowned traveler, blogger. <laughs> so again, you know, if you're interested, even for men, if you guys are interested in learning anything, and you saw it online, you want to know about it, 
shoot me an email and I, I probably could set up a course for you. So, okay. A big thank you to the blue. Yay. Thank you to the blue. Thank you.